Yay, awesome song, we have it. And I decide I'm gonna restart the game from start so everyone of you that is new here can actually enjoy the full story and get the full picture of this game. Uh, so I guess in the next 45 minutes, in this next 45 minutes, I'm gonna be at the same part I was when I started the game first, uh, last stream. So yeah, here we go. And the, two li the lyrics, the song is basically different types to um, I will be there for you, uh, run forward, don't give up, stuff like that. It's, it's very generic. Um, yeah, so here we go with the single player game. And since, if you know Monolith Studios, their games are hard as shit. That means we're not gonna play this game on anything harder than normal difficulty, otherwise I would get my ass kicked in madness. Um, it's a fun game, I love this game, and they definitely saw too many mecha animes. Otherwise, they wouldn't have come up with such a crazy idea. Uh, yeah, so, here we go. I've lost too much to this war. My brother, Toshiro. We knew him. Kura, the woman I loved. We knew her. Baku, my childhood friend. <laughs> I can't bring them back, but I can avenge them. Every rebel CMC, soldier, fanatical fallen terrorist I wipe off the face of Kronos brings me a little closer to peace. Revenge. Dad and Catherine, Kura's sister, who I've been dating for the past several months, oh my god. He dates the sister of his ex-girlfriend. Jeez, it really is kinda complicated if you ask me. So basically, the first mission, we came back from a reconnaissance mission and we are under attack and we have to get to a transporter uh, to get out of the combat zone. This starts the first level of this game. Recon 4, fall back to drop point Renegade for immediate evac. We're picking up fallen reinforcements approaching from the southeast. Get your team clear ASAP, over! Alright, let's move. The whole area is going to be slag in about two minutes. And the game crashed already. Be on time for once in your life. Be nice. And why is the game back on software rendering mode, I wonder? Oh well, we're just gonna start. And I still wish there would be a, a crosshair to make this a little bit more entertaining, but sadly there's no crosshair. Or at least it, it seems to be disappearing after a while, which is really, really strange. That's what I call a bad resistance though. Vehicle mode is also very nice. I I, I remember I tell you the this story is again. Angel on final approach. Drop point secure over. Roger, fire for effect. Over. It was 1997. Or was it 1999? It was 1999, 2000 around. And my best buddy. Don't leave without us. My best buddy basically brought me a, a tower of game CDs. Among them was System Shock 2, Dois X, uh, Sugar Mobile Armor Division, and another few games which I can't remember off the top of my head. And System Shock 2 was the last one I played, I think. Uh, but Sugar Mobile Armor Division was the first one I played. And I loved the living shit out of it. Well, I'm back aboard the USA flagship. Me and Catherine find a few precious moments to peace before we must prepare for the mission ahead. From space, Kronos, the planet where this story takes place, seems tranquil and remote, but it has always defeated you before, and the odds have never been so grim. Enjoy the brief respite, for it won't last long. Hey, sweetie, you're wanted at MCA Doc S. Don't forget your ID. I think I saw it on the nightstand. Thanks, Catherine. Commander, make sure to stop by regional diagnostics. You can access the database for background information on your mission. Yes, sir. 
And this is basically the models of this game. They look so cheesy and stupid and I don't know what they thought about it. I think they even had, had time constraints to finish the game. Um, I'm, actually, I'm actually liking that they reuse assets from previous games because that brings a little bit of their own charm into the game, I think. I mean, lots of the enemy soldiers in this game actually use uh, sound clips that um, the cultists of blood use, which is, which is really nice. A reference I don't get, um, apparently. Don't know. Hey, buddy, what's, what's up? Why are you having your head hanging down? Did your girlfriend ditch you or something? Hey, give me a red, Carla. One up for you, Commander. You're on duty. Oh, come on, Carla. You can give me some drinks. I mean, dude, I have a hard life. I'm dating the, the sister of my girlfriend, ex girlfriend, you know? Oh, jeez. And these, these bars here, they absolutely remind me about, I don't know, Star Trek? Like a Star Trek bar in space? I, I really like this cafeteria stuff Since going on. Since Navcom went down? Yeah. He tells me he was drifting in space the whole time and that's why he didn't call me. Did you check with the flight officer? The flight officer said there hasn't been a single report of a missing scout for over a month. The nerve! Tell me about it. Yeah, he's cheating on you totally! <laughs> Look at those models. I love those models. They look so... They look so... So... I have no... No... I have no comparison for these models. Sorry, Commander. This area is off limits. Yeah, whatever. I have my order, sir. Please be nice to me. No, I don't want to be nice to you. Man, he looks... Hey, look out! Are, are you twins by any chance? Or... What's going on here? Okay, okay. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So, what, what was your first experience with uh, this game, actually? Uh, you and Anatropos. I told you my story, so... Take it easy there, flyboy. Come on, make your line. Leave it in your pants, pal. Leave it in your pants. Hey, River Marine, welcome to the stream. I just gonna start it, uh, the game all over again since last time, because not everyone here has seen the starting of the game. So, I just started it again. And some of the games is the wrong sector. You saying I don't know where I'm going? I didn't say that. And it looks like the game totally forgot that I actually have uh, prepared it for a uh, free direct 3D rendering mode. So we are back Welcome on to regional diagnostics. Sadly, to access these computers for information. Yeah, information. So we are sadly back on um, software rendering mode. But I gonna change that once I get to the point in which I um, have actually. Uh, stop the last live stream. So here you can basically get some oh, background yes. information. Kronos is the planet we live in. It's the only planet in the galaxy that features some kind of weird material. That's why the Fallen and our groups are basically fighting for it. And the Fallen are basically terrorists that try to stop us from harvesting the planet because we destroy Mother Nature or something like that. Gabriel rallied the historically fragmented Fallen into a fighting force. Sure, this is Admiral Agarajo. Stop falling around and report for duty. Here is an extract from the public statement issued by Gabriel to the population of the world. The Earth, the world of Hexen? You mean that one planet is the world of Hexen? The Fallen Children of Earth, our ancestral home. Kronos. The rightful heirs and stewards of the first Avernus. Yeah, and then there's the big city Avernus, which is basically a ghost town nowadays. And they... Hey, I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm checking out diagnostics, sir. That's what you ordered me to do, right? And I want to explain the story to the people that watch the stream, you know that? And of course the, the material K2 which we are so crazy about. So with all that information, I don't know if you care. I care for this information because I love this game to death, so why not share this information with you? Anyway, back to Watch it, buddy. Leave it in your pants, dickhead. Keep it in your pants, pal. <laughs> You want to take it out? No, no, no. I don't. I know. Not gonna went, w go that line. Oh, you 
You've just earned yourself a demerit. I hope you're pleased with yourself. I sense some anger. <laughs> and was it with, with uh, the Toshiro all the time and his anger? <laughs> he always comes up. I feel anger. This seems to. Do you have any anger problems? I don't understand that. And let's find out a little nice bug which is uh, going on with this graphics engine. If you c uh, jump into cutscenes, you will see your main character basically um, floating down to earth. Let's see if I can put it off though. Yay! Floating! Well, our Admiral Akiraju was always like a father to us, so... But since the loss of Kura, Toshiro and Baku, he has grown increasingly distant and preoccupied. His determination to defeat the fallen borders on obsession, as though by crushing them, he can somehow restore what he has lost. It is no secret that your mission was ordered by UCA High Command and that the Admiral's personal wish was to employ the Leviathan Kato Cannon to eradicate the fallen. So basically, he wants to use the Kato Cannon to destroy the fallen outpost. Despite the consequences, the pla uh, planet goes boom and will be wiped from the face of the universe. He is also more easily stirred to anger by your inevitable tardiness. <laughs> be careful, Sanjuro. The Admiral's a bit upset. Now that's a surprise. <laughs> He's always upset. He's always upset, Catherine. He's always upset, and no matter what we do. Right, 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 move on. Yeah, there's, there's, they have basically a... Late again, huh? Shut your pie hole. <laughs> I'd never heard that dialogue. So if you really get this message three times from Captain Agarashu, come here already, you get this dialogue. This is interesting and nice. I so want to shoot you for that dialogue, man. I think we'd better play it safe and reroute climate control through sector C. I want to grab something to eat before we Looks start. Looks bad. Yeah, Who asked you? And once again, um, this game and System Shock 2 and Half-Life, these games all came out in the same time period. So what happened? Half-Life took all the fame, while Shogo System Shock did not get any fame whatsoever. And all these games actually tried to accomplish the same thing, having a briefing environmental world at your disposal to explore and Okay, Half-Life did it better than Shogo did, but still I think Half-Life gets too much credit for what it was trying to achieve. What the hell is my Hey buddy, watch where you're going. Hey, hey, I wanted to say, have you say the, the line. What the hell was my password? Ark! Maybe your password is Ark! Don't know. <laughs> uh, what I want to say, yeah, they, they have this this very special grenade launcher weapon in the game. And actually, instead of just uh, switching firing modes, they give you the same weapon four times. So you have four times the same weapon with different colors that do different fire modes of the same weapon. Which is another lead to that I have basically not had in much, much, enough time to finish this game how they wanted it to be. Anyways, um... Captain, what's our briefing? Reporting for duty, sir. It's about time, Commander. I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Hmm. I seem to recall hearing that before. Your mission is to find and eliminate Gabriel at all costs. His forces have been massing in the abandoned city of Avernus. Within a few days, we feel they will attempt a final assault on Maratropa. If Gabriel is allowed to continue, the Fallen will destroy the CMC and gain control of Kronos. If this happens, the flow of Kato throughout our system will cease. This cannot and will not happen. I'll see to that myself if I have to. Yes, sir. I understand completely. Go select yourself an MCA and proceed to the shuttle bay. Now get out of my sight. Yes, sir. Getting out of your sight, sir. <laughs> Sir, I presume Catherine is my primary contact for this mission? You mean Lieutenant Commander Akarajo? Yes, she is. That's what I meant to say, sir. You're dismissed. I'll see to that myself if I have to. Do you have something you wish to share with me, Commander? Yes, sir. You are my personal hero, sir. <laughs> mm. By the way, Commander, 
I'm pleased to know that you checked into regional diagnostics. It's about time you showed a little initiative. That's what you ordered me, but I'm still too late, so... I shouldn't have checked into diagnostics at first. Order, Otherwise you wouldn't have been so... Disrespectful to my authority. Captain. Oh, Captain. Keep it in your pants, pal. Zip. Okay, they are too mysterious in this room. It always cracks me up as well, you nanotropos. They are too mysterious in this room. The first one is this button. What does this button do? Nothing. It's just a button you press. If you press, nothing happens. And oh, it, now I missed it. Basically, there is some kind of weird uh, object on this table, which looks like a um, a, a coin from ancient times, from ancient Greeks or Greek or something. And you can actually pick it up. And if you check your inventory, you don't have it in your inventory. So what was this supposed to be? Hmm. Too bad I couldn't show you, but it always bugs me what this little metal does do there. And why can't we pick it up? And why can't we push this button? And why, why, why? <laughs> What's the meaning of life? Stand off, soldier. Man, you look pissed. Anyway, it's time to choose our mechs. Um, hey, watch it! Step off, soldier. Uh, we have actually to go this way. Yeah. And this way, yeah. And now I'd show you. Terminal moves a specific MCA into docking position. You can board that MCA by circling around to the corresponding access door. Um. Yeah, so let's circle through the MCAs then. The MCA Enforcer Mark 7 is a hardy, well rounded MCA that balances responsive movement with strong armor. Ideal for pilots who want a machine that is reliable in any situation. And to be honest, it looks it looks ugly as hell. I, why would you want to control such a mech? I don't. I don't. I don't. So next one up on the list is Ultimate MCA, the Under Twenty Five Predator, is perfectly suited to combat missions. Combining tough armor with an intimidating design, the Predator is an uncomparable war machine. Unfortunately, strength comes at the cost of speed and versatility. Yeah, I I just call it the Big Mac. And now I'm hungry. I love this little area down here. It only leads to your death. <laughs> There's nothing for it. <laughs> Why would they place a stupid area like this in the game? I have no idea. <laughs> Gibbs, baby. Gibbs. Okay, <laughs> enough fooling around. <laughs> I just love this game. The IM Wardog Advanced Series 7 MCA features a sleek design and solid compromise between speed and toughness. While its vehicle mode has a faster maximum speed than the UCA Enforcer, it doesn't handle quite as well. Yeah, but Wu uses vehicle modes anyway. We are not Transformers here, nobody tells us to roll out. The Shoko Akuma Series 12 is a light, fast, highly maneuverable MCA designed for situations in which subtlety and speed are more important than durability. An excellent choice for pilots who prefer to run from trouble than dive headlong into it. Yeah, this one is totally useless in every sense of the word. It has so much, so, so less health and armor that you don't want to pick it ever. Um, but for the first mission, I actually gonna get my favorite and also a most awesome looking one, in my opinion. Uh, not this one, it was the other, other one, I think. Yeah. This one will be my mech of choice. So let's just get into it. And start our glorious mission. I hope you succeed, Commander. I would hate to have to resort to more drastic measures to eliminate the fallen. Akaraju out. Watch your step, hot shot. Transport will drop you off near the southwest entrance to Avernus. According to our intelligence, it's the least defended access to the city. According to intelligence, eh? Well, in that case, I've got nothing to worry about. Be careful, Sanjuro. You better come home to me. 
You won't even have time to miss me. Permission to come aboard. Permission granted, Commander. You're in for one hell of a ride. Alright, the next mission is called the Storm. Uh, Minotaur places you 15 clicks southeast of an access road leading into Avernus, the ghost town I was mentioning. The entrance is poorly defended, but you should still expect moderate resistance. Larger divisionary strike forces are hiring fallen defenses further to the north and east to tie up possible reinforcements. Good job! Protect your squad mates, their added firepower will prove useful when you reach the pyramid wall. Well, intelligence, now, now I'm happy that I have this information from intelligence. LZ Minotaur attained. Good. Now there's a fortified condenser station between you and the southwest entrance. You have to pass through it to get to Avernus. Make sure you take out any surveillance measures. Don't give them the opportunity to call in reinforcements. Looks like we got enemy contact. And as you have noticed, we actually could uh, flip around our mech inside the cutscene, which is a bug that sometimes occurs. I don't know why or how it is caused. Dad, I'm ready. Okay, now we should have a new weapon. Well, this looks like the place. Dance, robot man, dance! <laughs> hey, where are my teammates? Why aren't they coming? Hey guys, you should be here already? Did the AI bug out for me? Oh great, what are you doing guys? What are you doing guys? That looks so ridiculously stupid. <laughs> hey, move along please. Oh my god, the AI just bro, bro hugs themselves now. No, the random thing I could pick up did not look like a letter. It looked like a historian, maybe Greek or Romanian um, coin. So it was really strange. Okay, then uh, once you're done with making out, maybe you will follow me. That would be awesome. But I have to admit, the vehicle mode of this mech really looks awesome. Out of the way, forklifts! Maybe we can unbind the AI when we open the door, which is basically our mission objective for this one. Maybe they're coming now. Or maybe not? Okay, this is the first time the AI bucked out this hard. Never happened to be before. I can't do without them as well. Who the hell do you think you are busting in here? I'm gonna kick your ass! The anger. The anger allows me to bust in here, little girl. Jeez, what was she doing here? I have no idea. <laughs> this 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 girl, this girl always shows up. And you never really get to fi uh, to see her, and she adds nothing to the story. She just comes in, says her favorite line, and then gets killed <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, secret finding time. Yay for swimming animations! <laughs> so there's some more ammo and stuff for us to pick. And otherwise we can squish some humans if we are happy and want to. 
and just to showcase how brutal and uh, bloody this game actually is. I love it. <laughs> okay, enough played. <laughs> like I seen from Yellow Submarine, what do you mean? Really? But you can't do anything with those secret thingies. Very interesting, June. Thank you for this, uh, clearing this up for us. There are four objects you can pick up labeled as secret. Ah, I wonder where the other ones are. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is the opportunity I was looking for. Uh, actually looking deeper into all of this and finding those items. Now that went well. <laughs> Two shot and dead already. I'm showing friendly reinforcements just south of your position near the main service tunnel. They know you're coming. Great, then they'll know who killed them. Tanks, tanks, who needs tanks when you have a mag? So the pyramid wall is just ahead of our position. The battle will only get tougher from here. Eliminate any resistance and proceed to Avernus. You're getting close to the entrance. Stay sharp. Here they come. Yeah, they have a very powerful weapon with them. Which you don't want to be caught in. You know which weapon it is when you hear the peep. There it is. The peep. Jeez, it's basically this, uh, what is it called? This spider weapon. It's a, a explosive grenade. Which really can fuck you up, so... Hey, where's the guy? Where did he die? Where's the Big Mac? I want to destroy the Big Mac and I want to get this gun though. I got distracted by those little freaks. Hey, apparently the mech... Where's the one big mech we just saw here? He drops a weapon, a rocket launcher of some sort. Which I want to have. And I forgot to pick up this weapon because he fled. No! Oh well, maybe we find one uh, further down the road. Yeah, there's one. And we also find my other favorite weapon in this game. There's something else that really, really bugs me about it. Basically, if you want to zoom with a weapon, you have to push the weapon button again. Like, in this case, it's 6. And they just shamelessly spawn another mech up there on the fence. Which is funny. And if you want to unzoom again, you have to push the button again. Why isn't there a separate a separate button for zoom, I wonder? Because it is really tiresome to move your hands from the WASD down to the uh, weapon button. Did 
this guy just killed himself. Nice. I'm going in. So we finally reached Avernus. Let's go in then. Man, I love this game. I love this game. Too bad uh, when the game crashes, it automatically restarts in um, in software rendering mode. So uh, I wonder where you can actually find those four secret items you were speaking about. Are they Mac only, or can we also find them as a person when we are not in a Mac? Because if they are hidden inside, uh, outside the, the, the human sh first person parts then, jeez, maybe we have to look a um, bit, bit more carefully that way. 